guys and welcome back to a quick little found bits video here on the channel where we chat about content that was once unused or unseen but has since been added back into the game. And after almost a year we are back to munching some more pizza pies as Pizza Tower has gotten quite a big update recently dubbed the Noise Update and as the name suggests we can now finally play as the noise in the game. So chuck a bomb at that like button below, let's see what previously unused things have now been added to the game. So for starters, since I'm sure it'll get asked, I had a brief look through the files of the game as of the recent update and I didn't really see anything new that's left over unused that I haven't already covered in my previous videos. But with the amount of content that was cut or altered, I'm not exactly surprised that they aren't adding more unused content to this game. Anyways, back to the reused stuff, of course, the biggest addition to the game is that, like I said earlier, we can finally play as the Noise after completing the game as Pepino first. And interestingly enough, the Noise now has a completely different moveset. Different than some of the early demo builds where he could use his pogo stick to bounce around, and also different than how he was found left over in the game at initial launch, where he simply was just a clone of Pepino. As a quick rundown, unlike Pepino, the Noise can't just run up walls, and instead he has like a wall kick ability where you can dash or grab at a wall and this will let you jump up higher. Now you can only do this a set amount of times before you start to fall down, so you really have to get good at when and where to do these kick flips. You also get a big crusher thing, an awesome uppercut that sends you up really really high, and probably the best addition is the ability to do a super jump pretty much anywhere without needing to build up speed or anything first, and this is quite broken. And thankfully, that's not the only previously unused thing that was added to the game either. Yeah, this video is gonna be pretty short, but thankfully it's not gonna be that short. So anyways, the next thing that was added was actually the character select screen that was left over normally inaccessible and therefore unused in the launch version of the game well over a year ago. So after you get through the final boss fight and complete the crumbling tower of pizza stage at the end to beat the game as the noise, if you go all the way back near the top of the tower with the gift launcher thing that takes you to the final boss fight, you'll notice some smoke on the bottom left of the screen here. And if you take the plunge down there, you'll just bust right into Pepino's home here, where we can see him quite disturbed at our unannounced entrance. We can also see a bunch of cool stuff in the background, like a large Pepino mech, some family photos and such, and even a really awesome poster of Snick too, with a definitely not knockoff of Tails visible there as well. And then, after leaving this room, you actually unlock co-op mode, and then back at the main menu, you can scroll to seeing both goofball faces here, and after selecting a file, you'll finally gain access to this screen that was left over unused for over a year up until now. I think it's super cool that this was made finally normally accessible. Oh, and also as a small aside here, since I don't think that too many people know this yet, but after you defeat the Doys as the Noise and re-enter the fight, you'll just see him in a less than alive state there before getting the easiest P rank of your life. But what if you ever actually wanted to re-fight the Doys? Well, I don't think this is explained anywhere and there's no visual or audible feedback for doing this, but if you stand in front of the door and simply taunt three times, you can actually, I guess, revive the doys and refight them, and you can keep doing this to your heart's content. Anyways, getting back on track here, there's actually one more graphic that I noticed that has finally been implemented that was previously unused, and that's this intense graphic of Pepino. Now originally, this TV animation was planned to have been part of the scrapped heat meter mechanic that I covered in my previous videos, which if you haven't watched those yet, I highly recommend it, this game has a lot of really cool content that went unused. Anyways, as of this recent noise update, this animation for the TV has been repurposed, and can now be seen used whenever you string together a combo of 50 or more as Pepino. It's admittedly a pretty small addition, and I do wish we got a bit more of the heat meter added back, but I'm just glad to see some more previously unused content reused now. And that's basically all that was re-added, at least for now. There's so much more that was scrapped from this game, and I definitely hope more and more trickles back into it in future updates. Like yeah, I'd love to see even more playable characters like Vigilante or Pepperman, or some of the other unused textures and mechanics. 
But until that ever happens, I hope you enjoyed this short little update found bits video. Like I said, definitely check out some of my other Pizza Tower videos if you haven't already, and be sure to subscribe to the channel to find your way back here in the future. And as always, thank you all so much for stopping by today, and I will see you in a bit.